right, what's up, everybody? Go ahead and jump in here, man. Uh, three minutes left here. Sorry, I don't know why or uh, I don't know why none of that stuff worked before. It's like I give up sometimes, man. <laughs> so it is good to see everybody, man. Uh, we uh, you get a little bit, little bit of a few minutes behind here. I had to activate a few things here uh, that I'd forgotten. But anyway, we're ready to roll now. So uh, it's good to see everybody, man. Brian King, Gary, you can see you edible as well. The boot, Mr. Freightliner, Fan85, what's up, pal? Uh, Mr. Appalachian Drone Fights. Good to see you, man. Thank you there, Rakes. Appreciate it, man. Get my, my table over here. Hang on a minute. Like I'm so far away. <laughs> All right. B. Griff, what's up, man? Patrick D. Sinister, what's up, country? Uh, Eddie, uh, Eddie Atkins, what's up, buddy? Jay Greentree, good to see you, man. Uh, B. Griff, Light Z, what's up, man? Rio Geo Gaming, hello, Rebel Mac. What's up, buddy? Good to see you guys, man. Low balling, hello. I changed your name. All right. You ain't much of a boy. You know what? Fair enough, low balling. I like low balling better. Large car boy was kind of weird. I was like, is he, is he a boy? Is he a car? Is he large? Is he a large car? A large boy? I was like, it's so many ways we could go with this. Tugboat Newt, what's up, man? T Wait a minute. Tugboat New YouTube. All right. There you go. Sorry. That was a little YT on me. We went to there. Gear Jammer, what's up? The Skid Show. What's up, man? Aaron Alderman, what's up? Good to see you there, White Dragon, as well. Mr. Scott's in the house, along with the Wanderer. Wandered on into the street. What's up, bud? Good to see you, man. Dingbat, as well. Uh, Bryce, hello. Kathy, what's up? You and Devin, hello. Mike, Paul, Pete, and Level 1. What's up, man? Ah, large cars, the big rig. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Come on, FTG. Come on, man. Be your own person. Master Torque, I, I guess I'm flattered. But be your own person. I'm weird about myself when I look in the mirror. I'm just kidding. Old timer, what's up, man? Bam K, what's up? Uh, hey, man, you got that GPU? <laughs> well, actually, I will be using it. Uh, not at the minute, I don't, but I will be. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Roberts, what's up, man? Moncon, hello. Uh, big homie, what's up, man? Oh, good, man. Good, good, good. I'm glad you guys like that, man. Um, what's up there, Mr. Coop? Good to see you, man. Level one, stay tuned. We'll be uh, looking at it here just a little bit, man. Uh... Nice there, got the old injectors installed in the old Kubota. I hear you, man. Sim Asylum, what's up, bud? Greg, what's up? All the way from Maryland. What's up, man? Hope you're doing good here. Got about 45 seconds here. I was just going to turn that song. I was kind of listening to that song. Uh, Coming 6.05. Uh, we're actually going to fleet it tonight. Because um, uh, we're 140, so we're still a little bit limited. I've got a big surprise tomorrow night, though. Um... Probably the three things that you guys like the most, one of those being NASCAR, one of those being a certain particular brand and model of truck, and a certain model of mappage that you guys like that covers a lot of square mileage, and we have a trip tomorrow from one said racetrack to the next, which is cross country, so it's going to be a hopefully a good stream tomorrow because it's about the three things that everybody in ATS loves, so anyway, a little teaser for tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, but we're looking at all this tonight. So, got a lot going on. So, let's go ahead. Let's hit it. Let's go live. We'll see you here in five seconds. It's a short intro. <laughs> ka -ching. All right. Thank you there, Michael Roberts there, man. First gear member. Appreciate that, man. Uh, we'll make sure that it gets, um, make sure that it gets, uh, waiting for it to come up. Shout out. Where's it at? We're waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I start going into something, it'll pop up. I'm waiting on, uh, stream elements to shout you out. Anyway, I'll shout you out early, man. Thank you there for coming to first uh, gear member, man. Appreciate that as well. Uh, that's awesome, man. It's good to have you guys in here with us as well. Uh, and that's good, big homie. Glad you guys did that tutorial video. Um, so I've got another. Um, uh, wait, let me see why this thing never. Um, let me actually let me, let me clear and let me reload everything real quick. Uh, read all those. Hey, there we go. Kathy Wells, thank you there. Appreciate that. Coming in for a sponsor. That was all oh, responsor there. Two months. So thank you there, Kathy. Appreciate that. And uh, oh, you know what, Michael? I wonder if no, we should have done that. Uh, okay. All right. It's a little odd. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there, but thank you there, Michael. Appreciate it, man. I have no idea what's happened on there. What's up, Papa Rocks? Good to see you, man. Uh, and, uh, yes, I'm doing good there down south. Good to see you there. Appalachian Drone Frights as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we uploaded the tutorial. So, 
Um, if any of you guys want to see the tutorial video on how to skin all of the things in here, um, then you can, uh, I've got that brand new up on the channel. It's the very last video that uploaded on the main channel. You can go grab that. Um, and then I will give you the, the necessary tools and I don't ever do tutorial videos anymore. Um, it was like the quick and dirty and I actually got a couple comments was like, Hey man, it was straight to the point and it's exactly what I needed. And I was like, okay, maybe I can get along with that. So <laughs> it actually worked out pretty good. So, uh, what's up Ryder? Good to see you there. And Gary Cornwell, thank you there, man. Upgrading to cruise control. Appreciate it. And I don't know. Well, like, where did all my sounds go? This is so weird. Where did all of my sounds go? I feel like everything just completely disappeared. Like, none of my alerts are going. It's just like, bling, bling. Like, hey, this is just weak source over here. Mitch Carter, what's up, man? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Uh, RXCH, X KXD, what's up? How are you, man? Uh, Rajon Morris, what's up? Will Pants, good to see you guys. Uh, Parker, hello. You can guess you can get a shout out. So, uh, here's what we got today. Um, just really quick here. Um, oh, Zenith, that's a loaded question, my friend. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm a triples guy, but I'm a streamer. So, you know, that makes a big difference. Um, so we're in Bellingham right now. Uh, we're going to drive up on one of my most favorite roads in Washington, which is this Northern Highway 20. Um, and then, so we're going to go to the new place that I did a tutorial video on. Now, this one is from the same guy that did all of our other home mods. He's got a new creation up here. As you can see, it's got everything, like everything. So, uh, you can see here we is in uh, North of Omak. Uh, so I believe it is Tanasket, I believe, or Tanasket. Uh, I think it's Tanasket. But anyway, um, this is, uh, where we're going to be going today. So we're going to be picking up. Hey, there it is. Hey, thank you there, Mr. Zord. Appreciate it, man. Is that Kurajin? Is that Kurajin? Kurajin or Zor? What's up, man? Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that uh, as well. And Skippy Rizzi, man, first gear member. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's, uh, what, 136.78 now on a sponsor goal? Woohoo! <laughs> Never done a sponsor goal, so it looks, it's, it looks cool to see that number go up. So thank you, guys. Appreciate that, man. Jay Allen, what's up, man? Uh, it's good to see you, bud. Uh, so anyway, that's where we're going tonight. So we're going to drive over there, pick up a load. Uh, and then we're going to head out of this. Now, here's the cool part. I am on 140. Does anybody see anything really cool about 140 that you didn't see before? Maybe. Um, if you didn't, you should. Um, and you can see, yes. So we have that in there. That's from, obviously for tomorrow. But we are going to scab just a little bit of that. Uh, and we're going to come through Idaho down uh, through Coeur d'Alene and through Missoula and then down through Idaho Falls. And I think this load lends us somewhere down in Utah or maybe it might be Colorado City because we're really going to be in the freight liner today. We're going to be straight up cruising today. Um, and uh, so hopefully it's going to be like a really cool chill ride to so give you guys plenty of time to talk, interact. Um, and uh, after we see the mod, uh, we'll be able to drive around, be able to showcase everything around. You can see the signs. You can see all the cool stuff that's in there. Uh, and then if you want to learn, if you do pick it up and you want to go check out and see what it's like to actually get on the other side of that and skin everything for your own company, or for your own graphics, or maybe just for you as an owner operator kind of role playing here through ATS, you can do that as well with the same mod that it took. And anything else that you have from Gumroad, uh, I mean, from Frankenstyle mods, um, any one of those is still operate the same in, in terms of skinning. He's got the directions in there in the readme file of where the, exactly the skinnable files are. And all you got to do is change them and use my same system in that tutorial video, and it'll fix you up good. So let's get to some driving today. Um, we uh, we also are uh, we're in the uh, the Freightliner Cascadia here. This is the the standard um, uh, SES one. I do have a company mod in. We're going to check see if this works today. Uh, but we are also got that with our big wheel set on here. Plus we've got John Rudas. Uh, as well, United Logistics is on here. Um, so this is updated for 140. We are in 140, um, and we've got sounds from Creature uh, powering this puppy. Uh, we are literally ready to rock and roll. Christopher Diver, man, Dilbert, appreciate it, man. First gear, remember? Thank you, man. 139, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, Eason, Essen, Tonasket. I don't know what that means, unless it's no idea what that means uh, there we go so anyway we'll be rolling out with this bad boy tonight I, I love uh, I really 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 like uh, the Freightliner 
I almost drove the Western Star. We're going to look at the Western Star because um, I've got a brand new one um, uh, paint job for that one for the. Um, oh shoot, we forgot to do track IR today. Oh well, too late for that now. No, I don't have the mirror. I don't know if the mirror FOV mod, to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure if the mirror FOV mod is actually updated to 140. Um, I know sometimes I've had issues with that in like John Ruta stuff, so. <laughs> well, you know, it's a it's it looks really good with the uh, you know it looks really good with 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 the trailer man. That's the only reason I got it. Uh, Binks, I do in the uh, sounds mods here in the Discord. Yeah, I've got it, man. <laughs> yeah, well, you take my truck all you want to. It's fine. Uh, literally, we've been driving all these other trucks. I was just like, you know what? There's plenty of people that I see driving this, these trucks in the Discord, uh, and they uh, and they seem to be liking it. So I figured, you know what? We'll we'll do we'll do one we don't normally do a lot, uh, especially because it's got such a it's got a nice look, man, with the trailer. So. I did, Alex. I did, man. Uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, I, I can't wait to get my hands on that, man. But a lot of people have been uh, requesting a C-15, so it'll be cool to see what he comes up with. So Josh, this is the uh, so this is the 605 Cummins. Um, this is the newest one. I think it's the ISX from Creech. Now he did uh, as a part of his sound pack. He did a he did a full sound mod for the Freightliner Cascadia as well as the Western Star. Uh, and for what they are, man, they sound really good um, considering what you know what you have from uh, from SES. So I, I dig it, man. Now nah, I will. I don't use butt kicker. Um, I don't know. Like some of that stuff is pretty superficial to me. Like I don't really necessarily mind it that much. What's up, Jalen? Good to see you, man. Uh, I have not uh, low balling. Um, I know I he took them off there and then he put them back up or did something. And after that, I I kind of lost. I don't say I lost interest in it, but when I heard he was kind of going pay where, I was like, eh. So and, and honestly, the reefer stuff is. I will say it's not my favorite. I like it. It's just that, you know, we got so many reefers, man. I just didn't know that we needed to necessarily cover a bunch more paywares. What's up there, White Bear? How are you, man? Uh, I guess you could say I know a little bit about just from what people have told me, uh, but I'm not a trucker by, by trade. Oh, thank you there. Yeah, I'm glad you like those. Uh, yeah, the, the the new gauges there, Alex. Just a little something, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, I've got some stuff here for myself, uh, but it's it's usually helpful, man. People always ask, you know, where you going, how much longer you got, and uh, it, it's pretty pretty easy to tell in there, man. Find a dime for a shifter that would toggle my 6, 7, 13, 12, 13 gear. Uh, hmm. So I think you mean like just having a split and um, and having uh, I don't, I'm, gosh, I don't know if in the mods have any links. There's not too many people that have that. Oh, you know what? Bear or um, uh, Sinister, Timbo, and you guys, if y'all want to grab my Amazon link for that, that um, the semi shift and just tag uh, uh, Courage in. 
and just throw it in there for him. And anybody else that might be looking for a, you know, a rather, a rather, um, you know, I will say, uh, it's pretty inexpensive for what it is. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, 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 that's what I figured, Joe. <clears throat> yeah, Aaron, don't just uh, you know you never have a problem with with John Ruda, man. He's uh, he's legit. Um, all you need to do is just make sure you, you pay for anything through PayPal through goods and services. That's it. That's all you got to do. Um, most of all these guys use PayPal. They don't use anything else. Uh, and PayPal does a really good job of protecting people, especially even if it's just. Uh, you know, goods and services, what you always want to do. Don't ever pay anybody online with anything else less than that. It always needs to be goods and services. Uh, friends and family, that's a scam or somebody's fixing to steal you money. That's all it is. Oh, man, thanks there, Kyle. Kyle Thurgood there with a $50 Canadian Super Jab, man. Been a, been a huge fan since content after you last six months. Just want to say thanks for providing us all the great streams and showcasing of mods. Well, thanks, Kyle. Appreciate that, man. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate that very much. Uh, and then they regriff there with the uh, also $10 tip, man. Getting more into truck sim. Picked up the G923 pedals. Congrats as well. Liking them so far. Thanks for streaming. You are more than welcome, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. That's awesome, man. Well, I, there's no cheering up, Trip. I don't know why you think I'm sad, man. Saludo, amigo. What's up, Samurai? Jughead Gamer, what's up, man? It has been a... Uh, in a while, man. What do you need to hook up through gauges? Those got those gauges. Oh, uh, it depends. You need the gauges and you need an interface card. Um, and there are a few out there. Uh, Google it literally is the best friend for that. Um, there's a few options out there. You just kind of got to pick one that's the best for you. Um, really, literally searching through YouTube, there's a bunch. You can make your own cards if you're uh, somewhat you know, skilled in electronics, you know, somewhat. What link doesn't work? You can't tell me the link doesn't work. I don't know which link that is. I feel like I've got links coming out my wazoo around here, man. <laughs> that's like, it's like hit me up on a CB and go at, hey, FDG, one of your tires is flat. Well, I've got 18 of them, man. Which one is it? Uh, what my my affiliate link? Hmm. It's stone the iMac. <laughs> iMac Gamer Chicken. What's up, man? All the shippers are in stock. Oh, okay. And we about cool clock that car. Well, that stinks. Well, I was gonna maybe tag him and just say that they didn't. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe tag uh, Corrigan or however you say his name and maybe tell him that. We'll have, to, we'll have to get back to him on that one. Big Chungus, what's up, man? What's up, Jake? Big Pimpin? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. They don't sell them on Amazon? Oh, oh. So uh, the website would be SimuShift. A plus B software. Sorry. That's where they're at. And if they don't, you may have already checked that, so... Fettuccine for peace control. What's up, man? Fettuccine. Uh, this is American Truck Simulator. So simulates driving American trucks. <laughs> you know, I mean, the name kind of name kind of says it there. We are in North Washington. For those that are uh, just joining, we'll get on the outside of the truck. You guys can check out some uh, Curtis scenery. Get my mouse to stop dancing around on this table. Sorry about that. I'm actually going to a new mod today, so you guys want to see that new industry mod that we did that tutorial for. We are going to see it today. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is pretty stuff right here, man. This is kind of like a forgotten. What a tight turn. Whoops. There we go. This is really kind of like a uh, little bit of a forgotten DLC for uh, for us. We, we got so caught up in doing Colorado and all the rest of them that we've almost kind of forgotten, uh, you know, what it's like to be out here in Washington. It's actually really, really nice. I swear, man, the 605 can bust this truck up the hill here. We're going to have to go. Uh-oh. Just, just a 
light one, just a light one. We're not dragging. We got to get back here. We got, we got. I can't go 30 miles an hour up this hill. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Not today. Maybe we can sneak by on the right side. There we go. Okay, all right. Now we're good. Now we're good. I would like to make it there before dark. <clears throat> uh, driver need help on the Classic XL. What you got there, Joe Taylor? <laughs> I just I just want to get out and drive. I'm like I don't I don't need uh, I don't need 30 miles an hour up the hills of uh, Washington today. You know, just want to get moving, get it going. I mean, it's 50 50 miles an hour. We're not even doing that. We're still doing 50 45. Uh, so links are in the description there, Josh. Man, what is this? What is it? It's like cruising. Pretty out there. Nice bluish green water. Roll the windows down for a spell. <laughs> Why is everything so expensive? Um, everything is so expensive because um, they cannot, uh, I don't want to say they can't sell them, but they cannot. It's the best way. It's a niche market. There's not a lot of buyers. So if they spend money on something um, and invest in actually developing something and making something, they've got to basically sell it for enough to make it worth their while to do it. And, um, you know, really it goes for anything. It goes for mods. It's DLC from SES. It's, uh, you think about some of the bigger companies, you know, a lot of times DLC is actually included in some type of a really small you know, seasons pass relative to what the DLCs cost. Um, and, uh, you know, especially PC games and other markets like ATS and even ETS, it's just not that, it's not that way, man. Uh, especially if you're like, uh, you know, if you're looking at like, especially not necessarily steering wheels because you got racing markets and other things, but if you're looking at shifters, you know, uh, butt boxes, those kinds of things, man, they're just if one person, you know, does it pretty expensive and there's only like one or two other competitors, they're not necessarily going to do it for cheaper. They're just going to charge the same thing and hope their box is better or people buy. Flight Sim's the same way, man. It's just such a niche market. They have to sell the stuff for such an extended power of an extended rate there. So, probably right. Uh, I did not make one for Jess's uh, classic yet. I've not done that one. G920 is a good one there, Josh. I <laughs> have been saying your name. All right. <laughs> I'll take that to the bank, man. <laughs> Um, you'll need to update your trucks, John. Uh, you're you're probably riding in 139 uh, or one. You're riding 139 with a 138 truck. So you need to make sure you update your trucks and your sound packs to 139 at least. Well, the engine brakes just. I mean, it's it's what you'd expect. I mean, it's kind of like the it's kind of like the the standard preach. Standard Creed shake break. I mean, I, I could I could put the N14 on this truck, but I thought that was a little weird. I was like, I'll at least roll the 605 because it actually is a good sound and you know cruiser, especially if you're uh, if you're if you go a little bit accelerating here around the town and stuff. Actually, it's, it's pretty good. So, okay, you got the T8HA and a uh, button box. Cool, man. Good deal. Oh, these guys will pull out in front of me. You watch. Oh, no, they stayed. I'm surprised. <laughs> I 
Well, I know, I, you know, I debated on it, man. I was going to, and I was like, meh. All right, so I want to know from chat. I'm going to kind of watch chat for a minute here. I want to know what you guys think about 140 yet. You guys probably know what I think about it. Uh, but I am curious about your overall thoughts. You don't have to get anything deep. Just say, like, a couple of your favorite, favorite things about it. Just throw it up in chat. I'm just kind of read through it, man. Yeah, that'll go over well there, Pete. Might get my YouTube channel canceled. <laughs> okay. Here. Maybe a little sensitive. What's up, Oscar? Right, Sam Freyliner got the new lighting. Color? Absolutely. Yes. New graphic stuff? Yes. Western Star stuff? Yes. Yeah, three axles. That's a good one. That's the first one. It's seen. Yeah, a lot of people don't even say the three axles. Headlights better? Yep. <laughs> level one fair enough but to be fair even the max out even on the new ones it is a little hefty but it's uh it's still pretty good even if you have to cut a couple things down like i don't it looks better than the original you know what i'm saying Anthony I actually have a son yes and every now and again I see him have y'all seen a moon yet y'all seen the moon I have I have not seen a moon that doesn't mean it doesn't exist but I don't know that I haven't seen one since the very very first the last one I saw was the very very first time we were in 140 I saw a moon and after that I have not seen one Uh, oh, no, okay. I thought that was it. Oh, that's got yellow next to that. Okay, never mind. I feel bad now. I feel dumb. Yeah, truck looks a lot better. Uh, the chrome reflections are actually really, really, really good. Hmm. Speculation. So here's what I think. Now, this is just me. Um, this is just me, me talking here. I, I do think that um, we're going to have to look at uh, ETS bring out Iberia first. Why are we stopped so far? What the? Now, sometimes they say if you honk the horn at AI, they'll move. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> I knew they'd do that because <laughs> I told y'all that. <laughs> Uh, I think they're going to pull out Iberia first. 140 and ETS2 will go live first because it'll have to for Iberia. The other kicker is going to be whether or not um, we're going to have to wait for Wyoming for 140. I personally don't think that that's going to take too long. Um, I would love to see them tandemly release 140 so that uh, MP can update 140. Because for ATS, it's not going to matter. Yeah, because Wyoming's going to come out after 140's live anyway. So it'd be really, actually, it'd be cool for them to just release it at the same time so MP can update. They probably won't do that, uh, but that would obviously be the, uh, that would be the easier thing they could do. So Spain is planned for April. So, yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're now into March. They've just started their live streaming, so that's really not a should really be a, a huge a huge surprise because they seem like they do about two two and a half three weeks, um, and especially if there's a, a last minute on that. I mean, I don't know if they'll I don't know, man. I don't know if they if they'll come out one four zero in both games at the same time or not. It would probably be easier, but they usually try to do these one at a time. They'll figure out what they got to fix for ETS two, and then they'll make the same corrections in ATS, but. I'm still getting a funky shadow anti-aliasing issue, um, and uh, and I've been reading, and you guys have been chiming in here in chat too, having the same exact issues with 140, and it only seems to happen on one particular style of tree. Um, it was where the where the, it's actually moving, and then the shadows move and flicker against all the other stuff. It's almost like they're clashing. Um, you know, right now it's all overcast. We're not really drawing a lot of shadows, but. Um, it almost has like a farm sim feel, the way their shadows do in farm sim. Oh, he's going that way. What the? Wow. 
homie wasn't playing. <laughs> Woo! All right, man. My goodness, man. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, yeah, down south. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. It's got that big old nice toolbox. Like, we're completely covered up, man. We're so aerodynamic right now, we're saving all kinds of fuel. We've got so many air dams on this car, man. It's not, on this truck, it's not even funny. And, and, uh, and of course, the trailer. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I know United Logistics is, you know, a fake VTC, but that man, that, 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 that little job right here, man, it's, I don't know, it just looks good. I'm so happy that one. Proud of myself. All right, here we go. Here is the big, the big one. Thank you, trip. I like them too, there. Oh my God, man! Big homie with a hundred. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh man, dude. Appreciate that, man. I need a, I need a bigger like instead of the little ding. I need, I need something for that one, buddy. That's, uh, that's big time, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the big homie there. A hundred dollars. Thanks again for the tutorial. You, sir, are more than welcome. Uh, I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad you watched it. Glad you got something out of it. I don't normally do those just because I've typically put way too much time and effort into them. But that one was a pretty, a pretty easy one to kind of just go, you know, bam, 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 and uh, pretty easy to explain. So I'm glad you guys got something out of it, man. Well, I appreciate it, bud. I do, I do, man. Uh, so here's our one sign. This is the one sign I could not find. So come to find out. I was having an issue in that video where it was conflicting with another mod. And uh, it was basically conflicting with pro mods and then it was conflicting with something else because I wound up clearing a lot of things out. So today, when I got updated to 140, there is the sign that we could not find <laughs> in the tutorial. So there it is. And uh, the world on time, which is our little our little motto here. Um, a cool sign. And then uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get up to our place and then I'll zip around here for you guys that didn't watch the tutorial show you what we got here so you look off to the left here you've got like HMS type machinery stuff you've got the industrial section back here um, you've got bay doors that you can actually pull in you've got Walmart here uh, this is the Walmart at least uh, base out of the game although it's kind of labelless here um, because it's still effectively ours uh, but we've got the company mod so it's drawing all the Walmart trailers and stuff on here uh, right here is your building, kind of like your plaster and sons in the game. That's also in here. Uh, so this is like a huge, like, industry compound setup. And then even in the back side, uh, you've got more stuff back there. You've got the original plaster and sons back there. You got some big stuff back there. Let's see. Um, and let's go ahead and let's make a turn here. Yes. You got these trailers over here, got uh, Trident Seafoods, which is one out of that company mod. The company mod doesn't mess up, but I will say this. The company mod does change your trailers, traffic trailers, because it puts all these logos on the trailers. So if you want to custom skin your stuff, take out the, cus the custom company mods. They just will mess you up. Um, and then let's see where am I supposed to go. Okay, we're going over here. And then actually, you know what? And also the flag mods, unfortunately. And I don't know why I did that, um, because it added, like, this checker flag one, and then it erased our other one. And, but that's all the company mod. That's not, that's not his fault. Uh, so you got the truck headquarters back here. Um, actually, you know what? Let me just do this. We're going to go ahead and um, let's sit down here. Let's buy this garage here. And then let's do... Um, I don't know. Let's see. So you do have a garage. You can fix your truck here. I want to make sure we need to upgrade here uh, for, to manage it. And then we'll just go ahead and make sure we get the upgrade on it. Because that, I think, puts the shop and everything outside, I think. So let this load back in. Uh, Adam, so it's in the description. Um, but, but it is the... Um, it's the, I don't know what you call this, uh, Franken-style modding has done a full one over on this one. Uh, it's really, really, really good, man. 
Uh, and I've got the links there in the description. So let's see if this works with the company still. I probably should have taken the company mod out. That's not his fault, that's mine. What's up there, Jeremy? Good to see you, man. So we got some texture clashing right here uh, that he's going to fix up here on the next update. It's just that it just needs to be just a hair bit off the driveway so the textures don't clash. Um, but uh, you know, we get that. He'll say get that fixed up here in the next one. But essentially, you know, there you go. You got your own little car wash now. It doesn't actually effectively work, but I guess you could pretend that you wash your car. And if you get close enough to this dude, <laughs> wash those wheels, boy. <laughs> Clean them numbers off. There you go, Gary. Get my door. There you go. Clean them fingerprints off the handle. There you go. World on time. Clean that kick plate too while you're out of there, Gary. Hey, while you're at it, man, get my arrows back there. There you go. Play that chrome up. Shine it up there. <laughs> I love it, man. It's so funny, man. <laughs> ah, it's so funny, man. But anyway. <laughs> so there you go. There's that, man. <laughs> that was good. I know. That's pretty good. I like it. The company mod messes up a few of the... Um, the company, dot, the company mod actually messes up a few things around here. But you do have this little gem right here, which is awesome. So you got that, um, which is really, really, really cool. So you can fix your truck up and everything here without needing your main, your main deal. All right, so we'll go back in. You also got the car dealership as well. And it's like an effective, like, it's like a, it's like a dealership. Like, I mean, it's like a assembly plant. That's this whole space over here um, yeah so all that is uh, the supposed uh, Tesla now here is kind of a cool thing I do like this parts of it um, all of these trailers are all my modded trailers in 140 and they're all drawing and all of these companies so um, you can still have uh, freight market jobs and all kinds of stuff uh, coming out here and you still um, without the company mod that I have I have that realistic company mod still thrown in here Without it, there's four different trailer uh, uh, modification graphics. So you can skin up the four different trailers. They draw in the traffic. They draw in here. It's pretty slick. So uh, for those guys that like to you know, run a few things or if you want some custom stuff in there, that would be where you do it. So it's really like, I mean, I guess effectively it would be like, I don't know, maybe three or four kind of similar mods kind of all sprinkled in together. I do like driving around in it. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, I you know there, I don't I don't necessarily know that there's a, a ton of like huge places like this that would, um, that would have these big huge industry centers like this. I, I don't know if that stuff really exists out there for the truckers. I'm sure y'all could tell me. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> in the comments. Yeah, it doesn't exist. FTG. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad, man. Gary.exe. <laughs> <Carry .ac. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, man. I know, maintain repair. I know, and I don't know why we've not been able to, to, to do that. I, I mean, I agree with you too, man. Being able to maintain and have a little emblem out there, on the, it, should be, it should be like the thing to do. All right, so I think this is going to be a tough place to pull in, if I'm not mistaken. We're not going to skip. We always seem to have to be doing the, the blind back ends, man. We're, we're always having to blind it around here.
It's weird not having my track hour. I'm like, man, I miss you, my friend. Miss you. There we go. All right. All right, we got about half tank fuel. So we'll go ahead. Let's see what we got here. It's eight. All right, so let's just check out Sunset, and after we get Sunset, don't let me forget, uh, we'll make this, uh, we'll make it bright. And those headlights are not bright. Um, yeah, we'll make it, we'll make it there. So now you should see, all of our stuff should come alive, so now you guys can see uh, estimated times of arrivals and all that good stuff in there, so. It's worth it, level one. It's worth it, man. Level one's legit. And this, all of uh, all of these particular mods right here that we're driving on today, this one, as well as all of his other mods, they're all updated for 140. So, just FYI. <laughs> well, there you go, man. Uh, how do you get that good with uh, well, that one? So this one is uh, key press five. So if you go up to your numbers uh, at the top, it's uh, number five. And I just assigned it to my button. It's the lean out cam. That's what it is. And it's awesome, dude. <laughs> it works really good. What's up, Miles? Good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, Mike. I know, dude. I, I, I need to put that in, man. I didn't. I forgot to grab that, man. I feel bad. Grab a baby. I, I do not. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't watch live I don't watch any, like, real YouTubers. I really don't. I don't really have that much time. I like watching viral videos more. Uh, I I just forgot to hook it up, Jeremy. Like it's sitting in the floor unhooked, because I actually hooked up my, um, I actually uh, uh, hooked up my uh, uh, external hard drive in that port, and then I forgot to unhook it. So it's like, man, whoops. And you could refuel right there was our refuel that we we're driving by. Let's see what he's got gas prices at. Oh, he's actually got them pretty good. 296. It's not too far off from what they are. About 240 something here in North Carolina. So, ah, well, they get their level. <laughs> I don't know that I'm the best, man. I'm just glad you guys enjoy watching the content. Daddy-o, what's up, man? <laughs> That's a lot of questions, Kate. <laughs> so for the first one, uh, description, I have four, actually. My card has four outputs, one HDMI, three uh, display ports. And as for my PC specs, you can see them in the description. Um, and the second one is uh, type in triple wide gaming ATS on YouTube. And you'll come up with a ton of different videos for guys are showing you how to do it. It is simple to do, but it is a little bit of a process, more than I can actually tell you, you know, in the stream. Good little ride down, so I wanted to see basically. I don't normally drive at night, you guys know I don't really like doing that necessarily, but I did want to kind of figure out and find out exactly um, how things were looking because um, they actually had done a decent amount of work for the last one. But I want to see how fast the um, I wanted to see how fast the the uh, chrome textures went away, and also wanted to see uh, whether or not it looked more realistic. Uh, what do you mean the gauges on the center? Uh, you talking about my my telemetry gauges? Well, they're just the dashboard of a truck. RPM and speed. 
Are you talking about these right here on the right side? Uh, not yet, um, because my setup is going to change, um, and more on that very soon. Yeah, very soon. And really, so to be fair, uh, uh, Courage, in, uh, my my setup is multifaceted. It's it it has trucking basically the box and the shifter topper this thing right here um, essentially is what makes it ATS everything else about this is more geared towards racing um, because I do both things in it and pretty much any driving sim I've done in this has always been multifaceted so like my setup doesn't necessarily have to be what someone ought to strive for just for ATS mine really does kind of gear itself more towards racing and the fact that I can double it with a shifter put a topper on it um, and then I could, you know, use this for trucking, but it's not just a, you know, a trucking, uh, it's not just a trucking setup, you know. What's up, Robert L. Gaming? It will, maybe. Okay, quit flashing your lights. Lights look pretty good. Get out trying the truck here and see what the old sunlight looks down on the, uh, looks pretty good, don't wanna look at that. It's a really nice picture, by the way. Looks like the chrome textures do kinda go away a little bit. Um, I won't say they're too washed out, but I've noticed too that 140 desaturates a good bit. So for some of those that like running um, uh, mods like uh, Reshade, uh, maybe if you're using like the Google, um, you know, Google Nvidia has its own like filtered processor that kind of works in tandem with their graphics cards. Um, you, you can add saturation in there. It's just kind of going to be odd, I think, because things on screen like my map in the center is supposed to be the same as the map on the right. I'm not sure why the color is so different and why the red is so washed out inside the sim, but like my menu is very vibrant. I, I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it is. Um, I'm not sure if they're trying to simulate glass over the top of that or, or what, I, I don't really know, but anyway, I digress. Manuel Lurk Mode, what's up, Captain Chaos? <laughs> That's all right, man. A couple of you guys, man. I was actually curious where you guys were just because we hadn't seen anything out of you in the Discord, too. So appreciate that, man. Thanks there for the big 50 there, Captain Chaos, man. It's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you're still, uh, see that you're still kicking on street, man. I didn't want to say still kicking because that, that assumed that something tragic happened. <laughs> We're kicking in the live stream. How about that? Lurking in the live stream. We'll call it. We'll call it whatever you want to. It is what it is. <laughs> bad. I didn't think about that before I said it, and I was like, "Well, that's going to sound really bad. I better not say that." <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I used to have one goof. Uh, that was actually pretty nice. Um, ooh, I like the way the brake lights light up the cab. That's kind of cool. I'll maybe ride a few more minutes and then we'll speed it up to the morning. We'll sleep somewhere. Just wanted to see what some of this looks. See how the like the whites it, I don't know, it's weird. It's like the everything's really yellow around the headlights. I've noticed this, um, I did a little test yesterday just kind of trying to get outside and, and kind of see some of the different one for because we got another update. I guess it's probably been Oh, this was 
maybe early weekend, Friday-ish, maybe. I saw we got a, a little hot fix update for this thing, and it was a pretty big download. It's about a gig uh, for uh, for 140 if you're in the open beta. Um, and I noticed that around the outsides of the headlights, it gets really yellow. The insides is really nice and clear and white and bright. But um, I think the lights look a little better than they did. I think triples are hard because you don't you don't fill anything out on the sides of your screens, you know, like you would ambiently in real life. I don't know. It just feels really dark with triples. Like, really dark. We'll see what this town looks like, and then we'll uh, we'll find somewhere to uh, to stop here in Coldville. Coldville, sorry. Coldville! The lights don't look as yellow. I don't know if that's just this particular area, or if that's something they have definitely upgraded, but it definitely looks better. Gabriel, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Hey, GPK, cool, man. Well, hey, if you want to learn how to, uh, if you want to learn how to do some custom graphics on your trailer mods, because uh, it actually comes with a traffic trailer pack that'll park up in there, and you get four different. Uh, I will be actually, depending on when, if you ever want to come back and check it out just to finish it off, I, I may actually transfer back, take that, uh, take that mod out, or do a, a cleaner spot on spotlight on this. Uh, Gabriel, it's uh, one in the description. Uh, I don't know if, if uh, I don't know if YouTube will allow you to go back while I'm streaming. I think it will. Uh, but anyway, you can go back to about uh, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, we did the one there in Tanaskin. It's the same one I did the tutorial for. Yeah. Okay. That's why you got it. Okay. Sweet man. Good deal. You know, I was just making sure people knew that that was there. So and that was one of the most asked questions after the first, you know, five or six went live. It was like, hey, do a tutorial on how to skin the thing. <laughs> okay. All right. I think his next one he's working on is in New Mexico. So his goal was to have a couple of really cool yards in each state. That was kind of his, was kind of his goal. So. Oh, the website. Yeah, so go down and click the bottom, Gabriel. Go down to the one that says very, uh, says more. Yeah, that, that's where you want to go, man. Sorry about that. I think I think you can, Joe. I was just asking if I had it active because I didn't remember if I did. No one ever asked to go back and stream to watch, so that's why I was curious. Hey George, how's the chat? Uh, we talk about it? yeah, 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 yeah. We just saw it, man, and let let uh, let Gary let him go ahead and clean off the side of the uh, the side of the truck, man. <laughs> he had a few bug spots on there. He had to scrub a little bit at. <laughs> oh, from the live stream. Oh, my bad, Aaron. Sorry, Tito. What's up? Oh, nice, man. Uh, I don't know if he's, I don't know how much he's going to do it. I told him it would be a good idea to, especially if they buy the bigger, if you guys buy the big pack. I will actually mention that to him, TBK, because um, I, I, I'm, I'm actually in agreement with you. I think that would be a good thing because um, it's not exactly um, a cheap price for all of them, but some guys like really, really, really like that stuff, you know, um, and, and like that kind of extra added realism to the game. So it's valuable to them. So, you know, by all means, uh, get what you want to get, but I told him, I, you know, I will tell him. Sorry, not that I told him. I will tell him it'd be a good idea to just, if you someone buys that big pack, if he's got say three or four more, just go ahead and keep adding it to that, and then you can just, you know, download out of that pack and just pull out what you need. And I think that would be a good idea. <coughs> but don't, Gabriel, sir, don't, man. I'm actually going to pull over. Um, oh, we actually have to pull in anyway. Uh, but I'm going to make it daylight up in here. Let's see, we got uh, 74,000. Let's roll it up to, let's see, what time we got? I don't even know where my times are, 11. So let's move it on up to like 6. Oh my gosh, it's bright. Bright for 6 o'clock. 
My goodness. It's happened before where I've had to go really bad. I'll never forget the first time I did a big major race. It's a Coca-Cola 600. And I didn't really realize it when I got involved with it. And then uh, about later on, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go do this and it'll be a good race. And I realized it was the full entire 600. And by the end of that, man, I was literally in the mouth of the bus. But you know, you go at 180 miles an hour, it's kind of hard to just pull the freaking thing to be great. <laughs> it's like, nope, not happening. Not today, boys, not today. <laughs> Nice, Alpha Gaming. Congrats on the new purchase there, man. I got you, GBK, no problem, man. Well, hey, man, I, I try to take care of you guys. Um, you know, because, I, I mean, I think a lot of people just assume the guys, well, I can't speak for other people, but I know the way I do. Um, I actually give quite a decent amount of feedback to the developers and to the modders that do these things, whether it's trucks, whether it's, I mean, whatever. I mean, it really can be just about anything that I, I feature here on the stream. Uh, and just give them feedback from what you guys say in live streams. Um, and so if you guys say stuff like, hey, it'd be good to have this, I might mention that. It's up to them as to obviously whether or not they do it. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, that, that kind of feedback is uh, invaluable sometimes, you know, when it's coming from someone else that's, you know, helping push a product. So I'll certainly say something to them, man. No worries at all, man. And let's sneak through here. I think, too, one thing I am going to do. Let's see if I got it in here. All right. Yeah, Robert, pretty good for a uh, pretty good for a fleet truck, man. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Uh, by the way, guys, I am just about finished with uh, my pre-order stuff for the hats. I didn't even say anything about it today. Uh, I meant to say something about it earlier, and I totally just completely lost over it. Didn't even think about it. But uh, this hat and another, the red one that I've been wearing, is going to be uh, up for pre-order. So just be thinking. I've got a survey that I, I need to finish up either tonight or tomorrow. Try to get that out uh, early this, um, you know, or uh, I guess I would say try to get that here at the end of this week, uh, maybe before the weekend push. And, um, and then hopefully maybe by next week we can start opening the pre-order for you guys so that way y'all can. Um, and I basically will do the pre-order based on how many hats we have that people say, yes, I want one. Yes, I'm going to purchase one. And that's how many we'll, we'll, we'll plan on. And I'll order a little extra. Um, just so that, um, you know, if it gets us up to the next tier, the house, I mean, the hats are cheaper, but then I don't want to be left with like a hundred hats living to sell because I have to prepay for all these. So if you want a hat, just be thinking about that. Yes, I would like to keep these hats at 20 uh, or even, you know, a few bucks less, but by the time I add in a couple bucks for shipping, I'm just going to charge a flat rate to everybody. Um, so those in California will get a good deal. Those in South Carolina, North Carolina, eh, not so much, but still five bucks. Um, so I want to try to keep everything at like $25 uh, for the hat shipped, come direct to you, pre-ordered everything, and not charge any more than that. So, um, And I only get those prices if we have enough pre-orders. So just be thinking about whether or not you want to do that, uh, and I'll get that, uh, I'll get that uh, survey out to you guys. Post it up through here. I'll post it up in Discord. Post it up through the YouTube channel, and then uh, and then we'll open a pre-order sometime beginning next week. So we get it going. Oh, you think you own it? Yeah, yeah. Build a company, have the I know dropping it. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the um, the overall um, the overall gist from. The overall gist from ATS, I think, in a certain sense, needs to kind of update a bit. Um, I think it would be nice to see. It would be nice to see them update some of it, 
uh, and at least on the, the, um, the economy side. Uh, whether or not they ever do, I don't know. The ETS has been around for years, and it's still the same. You know what I mean? So, like, at some point, I'm kind of like, I don't know if they're going to do it. And I don't know if that kind of stuff is built in for a modder to actually be able to do or not. Because um, I think the key is having the economy built in, but then also having the structure for the cargo jobs. I don't, I don't know that those things are freight market jobs, essentially, is what you're talking about. Now, I do know in, like, this company, you can kind of do drop and hook. And it's got four trailers, so if you skin them all, it'll at least kind of look like that, but not fully. I mean, I guess it's about as close as you're going to get. So, yeah, I, I, I hear you there, Appalachia. We got you there. How to get my map like that? Oh, it's the it's the little uh, the mod from uh, SISL on the Steam Workshop. Um, the way that I was doing the triples on this is not my favorite, but it looks better for you guys, especially because you're seeing essentially an old screen. You're seeing like all of this, and so you're basically seeing like an ultra wide screen on y'all's end. Um, so I had to change it up multi monitor mode where it was and put it back on one which put it in the corner which you guys couldn't see so at least download this one you guys can see the main the main gist of what's going on so so we're in Idaho right now so I'm gonna go through um, I know this road's gonna be a little bit long so I know I'm gonna be pushing right up on my time tonight so what I would like to do um, if you guys want I want to kind of roll through Montana um, yes I want to roll through Montana Let's get through Montana, and then I think what I'm going to do is just stop long enough to take out the company mod, and then we're going to fast travel back up to Tenasket, uh, and then show you guys what it looks like without that company mod, because that actually looks kind of bit different. I didn't realize that company mod was going to mess it up so bad. I'm down for the bad. But at least the side works. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Oh, he drinks. Yeah, you know, Daboom, I think um, that is one thing that the community from the greater standpoint of guys that want to see multi-drops, and this includes anything from flatbeds to whatever, and actually see that load actually change. So let's say you've got in and you have to, you know, let's say you got 40,000 pounds of 4x4 timber posts or something on lumber. So you got to go to this store and you're dropping half of that load off, so 20-some thousand pounds go here and then you've got it on the next one, you would actually see half of that trailer go missing after you, you know, pulled off them. And I just don't know that that's going to happen. I, I would I would love to see it happen, but I don't know if it's going to. I mean, I'd, it would be really cool, but it probably would cost them to have to redraw some things, and I just don't know if they're going to do it. They might. Yeah, they... Uh, yes, Gabriel, most of you find any fuel tankers. There's only one that I know of. Um, that one allows you to drop off at gas stations. The Advanced B Train, I believe, allows you as well. The freebie that used to be, um, it allows you to uh, to drop off at gas stations as well. So, and I think those are free. I have to go back and look at them and try them and see if they'll work. <laughs> well, I, I think honestly, GBK, if if I could stream that, I believe it would show you. I believe it would show you 1440. Um, I, I don't think it will, because um, I know some things are turned off. I'm not sure if that's streaming or upload, but most of them have a minimum bit rate that they'll allow people to stream into. So I don't know if it'll have any streaming. Obviously, I can upload it in that, but I don't know if they'll have any stream in it. But I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, internet here to be able to stream 1440. Oh. Oh, you can drop all snacks and drinks off. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
<laughs> I dig that old box, man. Caribou Delights, my bro. Caribou Delights. That's where it's at, man. <laughs> oh, I know. I said I got about a quarter tank left. Uh, so if you guys wondered what these dash, uh, what these were right here. So I've got uh, oil pressure or oil temp. Now these two I actually use for eye racing just because they matched. Um, and uh, but I got oil temp and water temp here. And then uh, the center one is fuel level. Mainly use that for for trucking. Um, it works really well. And then this one up here is my speedo. And um, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can let's see if I can. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, but you get the idea there. But it actually works. Yeah, I, th I think I think it is. Yeah, GPK. I, I think it is. Um, I think it is for the streaming perspective. It costs enough diesel, but really, I mean, I hate to say how much it costs. I don't really know how much it costs because everything I've done is built up over time. I mean, you know, you could search rigs, you know, you know how much a rig costs. You find your steering wheel, you know how much the steering wheel with pedals and a gear shifter cost, um, you know, and start stacking the things up. I mean, these things have literally been a build over the past couple of years. I didn't just acquire all this all at one time. Yeah, I raised money donations for wheel stuff. I raised money donations for the pedals, for the shifter. I've had the shifter for like, it was, I was still on an Ikea desk. What even in a rig and I had a Fanatec shifter. I raised the handbrake off donations. Um, you know, it's just stuff like that. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's been a process. It's just been a build. And I honestly, I would suggest that if, if anybody's out there like thinking about doing this, like do the build route, like buy one thing at a time. Do your research, like have fun adding the new things on. Don't just you know, go out there and just buy it all. Be like, well, it kind of sucks now. I don't have anything left to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, that'd be, my, that'd be my suggestion. But that's just me, you know. Man, we're a little less than quarter. We, we, we'll, uh, we'll pick it up here the next one. <laughs> Well, fair enough. Got a dirt bike. Uh, safety there, 32 inch curved. Yeah, the complete rig stuff, man, is uh, is highly overinflated. Um, it's highly overinflated, and it just because they can, because people don't want to wait, you know, build it all themselves, attach it, wait, and ship it. Shipping for all of this stuff at one time is probably a lot, you know. Let's see, uh, down here in Missoula, we are now in Montana. I'm actually seeing if we have any fuel stations down there. I'm actually not seeing anything. Go to the next one. We're not in the red yet, so we're good there. Hey, it's good, Jay. We're still a little more. We got a little, we got a little more to go. We haven't hit the red yet, so. Yeah, that's what I say cheaper to build on, I know, man. Oh, there's a fuel station. We'll stop here in Missoula. Uh, Salmon, 93 South. Mexico. Woo! Look out there where I live. Uh, what's up, Captain Blue Self? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody's got a, everybody's got a troll MCG. Hey, Ball Spade, you might want to grab some juice there, buddy. Looks like the old tanks are getting a bit dry. Uh, I pulled in the wrong one. What the heck am I doing? Oh my god. What am I doing, Gary? Watch out! 
Oh, just kill the man. Just kill the man. Looks like a looks like a really small cookout right there. Okay. Y'all just pretend I didn't uh, I didn't do that. Okay, police. I don't know what I was doing right there. <laughs> My gosh. Uh okay. Alright, our fuel is not lined up with our that's gonna make it really hard to do this. King. Appreciate it, man. That's the kind of alerts I need on, this, on the uh, on the donations, man. Not that little dingling. Okay. <laughs> You're very welcome there, Brian King. Very welcome. I was like, I need to read his message, man. Hey, <laughs> Bobby, sir. Yep. Didn't see nothing. That's what I thought. So make sure. Would not be stopping any free showers. I've done that once. I can't say it was a bad experience. But it was weird. It was weird. Because, you know, when you get out of those showers, uh, I used to play with the band, and we um, we went to, uh, took a, a pretty decently long road trip and uh, didn't have, like, an actual shower facility inside the bus we were in. And um, it had a bathroom, just not, a like, a shower facility. Not enough for like, eight guys to, you know, shower in. And um, so anyway, we stopped at a truck stop and decided that we would go to use their free showers. So the kind of like the manager guy bought us all um, a shower in the truck. And it was clean, but it was just weird because there's like this really like big burly dude, um, you know, with flannel that was way too short, belly was hanging out, sleeves cut off. He looked like a, a 200 plus pound Larry the Cable guy without the coolness factor. And, um, and so we're walking in there. And so he grabs his, like, stuff in, like, his pump spray. Like, you'd spray weeds and flowers, you know? <laughs> he sprays it all in the shower. <laughs> and he has his hose pipe outside. And he just washes the hose pipe. And it just washes it down the drain. And I'm like, oh, my God. And we walk in there, and it's all sudsy. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's, what, what is this? <laughs> he was like, trust me, that kills anything. I was like, what's well, on our feet now? <laughs> He's like, well, trust me, you'll have clean feet. You can eat off those feet after you get done. I was like, okay, I'm not freaked out at all. <laughs> I was like, this is kind of the freakiest thing I've done. And I was like, this is, uh, I don't know whether or not to enjoy this or whether or not to fear for my life and run out the door screaming. <laughs> but anyway, you never know what you'll run into. <laughs> uh, Ruda has updated GBK. He has updated, so he is all ready, man. <laughs> Thank you there. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh, man. $5 super tat there. <laughs> super remote there. Incredible. And it was incredible. It was fun. Not really. I just hope and prayed I didn't, like, catch anything. And it was, like, a big gas station, too. It wasn't, like, some freaky dink, like, you know, out in the middle of, you know, out in the, out, out in the middle of nowhere in the, in the sticks, man. Fairly decent sized big city right off the big interstate off of I-40. Big old truck stop man and people are coming in and out of those showers left and right. I'm like, okay, this is a, a, a bit all scary. <laughs> What's up, Polo? How are you, man? Yeah, I bought three or four times over there. <laughs> Alpha game. I mean maybe this time hopefully uh, brings it out, keeps it out. I did with too much drama over there, man. I just one of those things, you know. Yeah, because uh, GBK, this is his trailer we're using for using John Rudis. Uh, we got John Rudis up in here today, so yeah, man. 
Uh, Gabriel, it's in that tutorial, but I use GIMP for mine uh, just because it's easy. And I know it. I've been using GIMP for a long time now. So um, I don't think the Lad Dirt there, uh, Gen One, is that uh, a Gen One gaming? Maybe um, I, I doubt they use. I doubt they do it. Um, I think. I think. Uh, what you call it? I think uh, Farm Sim has done that for a long time. So I think they've kind of they know the formula to get it to the way they need it. Uh, but I think coming into this one, a different engine and having to do that with the skins and like, you know, wear pieces of dirt, I, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I could totally be, could totally be off, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, GIMP's free. Yeah, I never needed, I never needed to pay Photoshop price for, uh, for doing thumbnails, you know. Like, you can do all the thumbnail stuff in there. Now, there are some good things that, uh, the way Photoshop handles smart objects is really cool. GIMP doesn't handle smart objects the same way. Um, but uh, I probably eventually will. But it's all like, you know, I guess you'd call it open source. Uh, but it's a, it's a solid program. And, and you don't have to pay the... Why are these trucks going so slow? Oh, we've got to get off here. Uh, of course, you'd be going that way. But you don't have to pay the monthly fee for it either. So that's pretty much why I do it. Yep, you're welcome. Uh, the car wash, their Merc. Once we get through Montana, I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, I just wanted to go through a little bit of Montana here on 140. Check out, see what coast to coast looks like. You know, at least this part is not too bad. Go ahead and let the old engines breathe a little bit, and uh, maybe knock a few down, uh, a few miles down here on uh, what you call it. I'm actually going to take out, I'm going to take out one of the company mods because it was overriding some stuff and it should have done that. So I have, to, I have to make up. Oh, Glenn. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. I want to know where you're at there. Okay. All right. What am I doing, Polo? We are driving. We're driving to talk to some awesome peeps. Like a truck, man. It's a straight up, straight up cruiser. Uh, do I ever get bored of playing? No, because I don't play it outside of streaming. Uh, I set up for my streams, and I do not play and drive ETS or ATS for fun and enjoyment. Uh, because if I did, yes, I would be tired of ATS by now, and I'd be ready to move on to something else. Um, and there's a certain sense where. I would love for some other things to kind of like really kind of help accent what goes on with the channel. I think all YouTubers would like for that. Um, you know, they just. But then again, uh, we also realize too that we have a you know a, a base of viewers that really like to see certain things that we stream and what they know us for. So there's kind of like a protection against myself to not get too far, uh, you know, get too far down in the weeds to where I can't come back up for air. Um, and if ATS ever got that boring then we might have a problem, you know what I mean? So, uh, not that I know of, Gabriel. Yeah, not that I know of. Oh, yeah, man. UK Trucker Mates. Oh, yeah, with Mark Armstrong. Oh, yeah, man. Good deal, man. Well, thanks for hopping in there, Glenn. Yeah, you have to, Jimmy Gay. I mean, some guys play this thing, like, religiously, like it is their job, and I don't know how they do it. I really don't. We're straight up moving. We just blew all my miles for, uh, whatchamacallit. Sorry, I didn't realize I have a turn signal. Yeah. Thanks, Freight Ladder. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, my bad, man. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it, you know, it is Appalachian. Um, you know, what well, we, we do. We do trip. And it's not all about the views. But, he, so, you know, I know, I know uh, 
I know Jeff Fabiano, he um, he had posted something on Twitter this week um, that was uh, you know kind of something that's true, and it's it's like a it's like a it's like a uh, somewhat of a necessary evil. You know, for YouTube to allow you to grow, you have to continue to make views um, and continue to pull in views from other sources other than the people that always watch everything you do and they champion what you do. Um, so it's a it's a it's a double edged sword where you're trying to really enjoy the content that you create, you're trying to make it as fresh and do things that other guys don't necessarily see you do or uh, don't know that you do. Whatever it is, um, there's always seems to be you know something that you try to do that separates you from everyone else. Um, but then YouTube really wants to see views and continued growth and seeing people really stopping into your channel. And sometimes with a game like this, it's really hard sometimes to like continue make the, the the content as fresh as it possibly can be which is why i try to drive all that i can drive i try to drive every truck pay where mods and showcase all of that stuff to you guys for one so you'll have information and two just because it's really nice to kind of change it up and see see what uh someone else has done to be creative in the sim uh, but yeah when it comes to other stuff man it's hard man because you know a lot of guys you know they watch me for ats and they have subscribed for ats but if i jumped over and did flight sim they didn't follow me for that you know so it's uh you have to do stuff for so long to build up a base to watch that and and so you you know jeff had even put some on there you know, he really got uh, really uh, extended to see guys you know really talk about on youtube like pulling views and stuff that content like if it wasn't successful it goes in the in the trash and to a certain extent, like every YouTuber has to kind of deal with that in their own way because, you know, I've got very limited time I can make content. Um, I can't really do it during the day. I can't record during the day. You know, I'm helping watch the kids and raise fam and that kind of stuff. So it, it's hard. Um, so really the, the latter nights is the only nights that I have to really, you know, to, to do this. So you have to try to look at it as investment of, of time um, and the return on that time for just – you know, continued growth in YouTube because I mean that's still one of my goals is to continue to grow, uh, become more popular with sim gaming stuff, and uh, and you know it's hard to do that when you do stuff that, that people don't watch. So you know it's uh, it's 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 always it's like a it's the difference in in people that I think that are striving for this to become like not necessarily a job as in a sad job, but this to be successful enough to where. Um, YouTube can provide some type of stable income so that you really can like truly get out of the bubble and enjoy what you do. Continue to do what you do, continue to grow, um, and, uh, and you know, especially depending on what stage you're in in that, it, it's, it's a little bit of a, it's an ebb and flow, you know. So, but that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's all it is. Yeah, thank you there, Alan South. I did too, man. I'm actually glad I put that in there, so. No, I don't want to make the bottom a bit smaller. Um, you know, uh, the uh, the top part, you guys are basically seeing an ultra wide. Um, and I've, I felt like, you know, the triple wide and seeing some of the different things where, you know, guys probably enjoyed seeing that stuff just as much as they did just the game itself. But you're essentially, you know, getting to see from like, from, from like here to here. That's a huge swath of area. Um, so I, I'll, I'll wind up probably keeping it like this. Because if I spring it down anymore, it'll be pointless to have. It'll be so small, nobody can read anything. MGK has been good, man. I hear you, GBK. I hear you, man. <laughs> now that you'll fly with me. All right, Appalachian. <laughs> Call flight tip. Idaho Falls. We are back in Idaho. You can tell where the ground changed, didn't you? All right, so for everybody that has um, done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off here in Idaho Falls. Oh, I thought we were going to skate by, but we didn't. All right, so I'm going to take out the company mod. I'm going to show you guys that mod one more time without the company mod being in there. Uh, it's not Gabriel. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't even consider YouTube a job. It's, uh, uh, it, as, as I'll call it with my buddies and stuff, it's my side hustle. I, we make money off donations is the is the vast majority of where the actual income from YouTube comes because you know when people super chat or anything like that it comes through like a check once a month um, and so um, so between that the, the views that we amass through the different you know videos and whatnot um, it does pretty good but it's it's very it's like a, a very uh, a smaller it's kind of like 
I don't want to say it's my chump change, but it's my spending money a little bit. And we put that on, obviously the bills and for other things. You know, it covers uh, it covers for things. I'm gonna just squirrel it over here if it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me pull over here. Forgot boundaries. Oh, it's gonna let me boundaries. I was gonna try to just stick it in this parking lot. Come on, man. Why not? Just want to be in the parking lot. Oh, let's go over here. So it is. Uh, it is just a little side time job here. But one of these days, I mean, I would love for it to actually, uh, you know, become somewhat of a full-time job. At least be able to create content with a, you know, with a meaning, meaningful set of time to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's uh, just for just for kicks here. I'm going to save it and then let's go look at. Uh, let's change. Yes, I'm going to take that mod out. I was going to cut the corner, but it didn't let me. It's good. Don't do it. Nope. 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 All right. Let's see. It's so right there. Uh, Hemil's uh, route advisor. That's it. So let's take out the real companies, um, and let's uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what this does. <laughs> One mil. I. You know. Honestly, man. My goal was. Uh, my goal was always a hundred thousand. Like that's always kind of secretively what I wanted. Um, I didn't really. Uh, you know. I. If it went more than that, great. But that was always my goal, man, just to have the sign, the plaque, you know, uh, just to say that I achieved something that um, a relatively small amount of people actually achieve. Um, you'd be surprised. There's really not that many. When it comes to the views and it comes to the creators out there, not very many people actually are 100,000 or above. It's, it's actually a lot less than you would think. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll back to – Tenasket, and let's check out that uh, one more time with the car wash and all that good stuff. So, do I invest in stocks? No, not really. I mean, we have retirement stuff that's already set up, but we don't actually do that. Um, uh, yes, but it messes them up, Gabriel. At least this one, it messes it up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So, if you go back and look at it before, I'm probably going to have to do an update on this. Uh, let's see. Whoops, not that one. That's the one I wanted. Let's do go to. Let's hope we don't get any funky. Uh, <sighs> hope we don't get any funky crashes since we took that that real economy jobs out. I always get really worried about stuff like that. All right, so we'll go back here. Actually, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna put the truck in right here. Since I already blew that load in truck truck books. All right, so. Right there is our sign. Looks good. So that was the sign I couldn't find. For those that watched my tutorial video, that's the sign I couldn't find. <laughs> and let's see if it's actually kept. Um, oh, yeah. All right. All right. So some odd reason. I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Because the checkered flag wasn't one that I had before either. So uh, maybe I need to go back and redo that one. I'm not exactly sure why that one's out. It worked in my tutorial video. It's weird. Anyway, there's one of them. So there's the United Logistics trailer that we did. So that's cool. So that'll actually drive around in traffic too. It's got dry vans, reefers, a couple different ones. You got up to three of those, or four of those actually. So you got four trailer logos you can put on there. So they all don't have to be the same. And then, yeah, and then they mess up the flag. That's so, that's so disheartening. So disheartening. All right, and then there's the truck wash. And, yes, the doors do go up. And it does have this little 24-hour thing. So let me see if it works if I turn the um, – I'm not sure. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. It's got all the lights on it. <laughs> that's cool, man. I like that. <laughs> you ever check out Gary? <laughs> He's still out there washing. <laughs> oh, classic Gary. <laughs> now we'll say that this this uh that that this particular garage is um just the standard. It's actually kind of infused into the mod. So if you do have garage mods, it will not draw these over. Um so like I have the United Logistics skin and garage, it does not replace this one. 
Um, it might, if I put this one below that, I might try that, but um, uh, at least what I can tell right now, it will not do that. So uh, for those that are asking, well, can I run multiple garage mods? I think so. If this one's on top, then this one will draw and it'll draw right over the rest. So you basically get just the empty ATS extended garage. And then uh, and then you get this one, this one right here. So it's open 24 hours. So very nice. <laughs> so there's uh, another one of our trailer logos. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm a little I'm a little peeved that I didn't get um, the other one. Something must have changed or I didn't update that file right. Uh, that's completely plausible. I might have not actually exported that right now that I think about it. So that should be the United Logistics flag on there. So not a big deal. Uh, I'll just have to go back and fix that. I just didn't check it before we got done with streaming. So anyway, do have the trailers there and the sign works. So at least I got, you know, 66% of them. <laughs> and I think the Volison Motors, I think there's your trailers in the back here. Yeah. So what you'll find out is you have this United Logistics or you'll have whatever your skin is. Um, uh, you'll have this on all of them. So this is actually a traffic mod. So everywhere you see this industry, you'll see your trailers literally sprinkled out throughout the entire map. They'll run in traffic. They'll run in through all different kinds of industries since they're all in here. He's drew them all in here. So if you put this mod up uh, above all of your map mods and all of that kind of stuff, then it'll draw this um, like it does. And you'll have reefers, dry vans, insulateds, um, and, uh, and reefers, if I said reefers. But anyway... So, yeah, anyway, that, Gabriel, this is the brand new one. He just came out, the uh, uh, Tenasket or Tenasket. Yeah, it's got to be Tenasket. Uh, if you go back to that main link there in the thing uh, uh, description, if you go down there and click on the show more, uh, it'll be that last one at the very bottom. So I think he's got one now that encompasses them all. Uh, but this is essentially all of this entire block between that, between uh, the Voltison Motors and all of this over here. So you got one big one over there. It's one two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so you got five of these now, five of these industries all in, in one big master uh, area over here. So this is right north of OMAC in Washington. It's got a nice pull through here, and it's got the lumber area back here, so it deals all flatbeds and stuff back here, which are pretty cool. And the cool thing is, I was telling the guys that came in early that maybe not have stayed, but if you've come in later, uh, then, uh, then for one, welcome. Uh, and two is, uh, I've got about, I don't know, four or five different freight market style free kind of like flatbed trailers and whatnot. They all generate jobs out of these as well. So, um, you're not just kind of like picking up random beats of cargo. Uh, it will actually draw in your trailers, flat, uh, freight markets. Um, there's a Ruta, I believe right there is a Ruta trailer. Um, so we've got four of those. You've got, uh, that flatbed with the mulch and Miracle Crow on it. And, uh, yeah, you got some cool stuff. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this one has flatbeds. Yeah, so this one does a lot of flatbed lumber uh, and housing materials and stuff on it. So I don't know that I've ever seen this one right here. I think this was uh, – we normally do these. I'm just trying to look back here and see which one this is. Oh, the Transcraft. Okay. We have not pulled that one in a while, so I might have to pull that one next stream and give you guys a new freebie, freebie trailer. So, anyway, that's good. So – uh, actually, since we did that, that's a good way to actually end this. I mean, it's a, a little bit early, uh, but uh, that's okay since we're doing like a, an actual feature on this, kind of driving in to come check it out. Um, I am, uh, by the way, for tomorrow, I plan on getting started right at 10. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to actually do, uh, and let me, um, let me go and sh show you. No, I'm not. No, yeah, I can so we're going to take out the Peterbilt 389 glider from uh, from Mr. Uh, Mr. Rudup. We're going to take this bad boy out tomorrow. Um, and then that way uh, we're going to have this one going with our NASCAR trailer. Um, that is going to uh, be leaving out of Orlando because we just got done at Daytona Miami Road Week. Uh, we are going to be heading out from Orlando, driving up coast to coast all the way up into Vegas. That's going to be my goal tomorrow. I hope I can do it. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to be driving coast to coast and a Peterbilt 389, and we're going to be pulling a NASCAR hauler uh, on our way to Vegas because Vegas is this week. It is Sunday evening. Uh, we'll be racing at Vegas. Last week we had a second-place finish, by the way, at Homestead, Miami, so if you want to go check out that video, it would be really, really nice. I wish you could use forklifts, man, to load the trailer game room. That would be awesome, dude. Um, I would love to be able to do some stuff like that in here, but yeah, this, I don't know that that's too advanced for this style of sim, man. It's just strictly driving, strictly driving. Um, so yeah, I do have the NASCAR trailer. I'll show you what it looks like. 
Um, it's got another custom skin on it. Uh, da, 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 da. And there she is. So this is the one out of Facebook. This is the one that uh, Travis did, and this is by far the best one uh, that's out there. He even updated and put an observation deck on top, so it's not an actual graphic anymore. It's actually a three-dimensional object. It's awesome. Bunch of different tailgates, chrome pieces, painted pieces, and obviously you can tell we did our custom skin there for FTR Motorsports Ford Racing Mustang there for iRacing. So uh, anyway, we've got this bad boy ready to rock and roll. Uh, so Sunday is the race for that. It was the second place in Homestead last week. We actually almost won that race. We got really close. We could we could sniff it, man. We could smell his rubber on his tires burning off. Uh, so this one is free, Gabriel. Um uh, he's on uh, all of the mod sites. He uploaded it there, and it was him that did it. It was free, and he's got some Facebooks, uh, Facebook Pro, but I do not know what the Facebook uh, page is. I've never actually been to it, but it is free. And it's actually got some really good skins and stuff with it that aren't uh, aren't these. Uh, the mod sites have them. Uh, his name is Travis. So if you type in uh, NASCAR Hauler, uh, go to like any of the ATS, like the good, the good mod sites, um, any of the LT sites, they're usually really good. Um, I was trying to think what the other one is. Um, it's not ATS mods. There's another one that's fairly good that does uh, legit mods. You don't ever find a lot of you know stolen stuff out of it, you know. Um, but yeah, this this one is on. He uploaded it on the the mod site. It's like share mod site. Yeah, he did it on there and uh, and did a good job with it. So don't even worry about getting like the one out of the. There was a paid one going around for a while. I think that guy just ripped it off of somebody else and put some lights on it and charged twenty five bucks for it. Uh, total, total quick and dirty. Uh, this one, uh, there was another one that was done on Steam Workshop. It's flat as a pancake. Like it just looks, it looks, it looks like it has not been updated in quite a while, even though it runs. Um, and then this one is from, and it's legit. Like it is really, really nice. He's got all kind of different, uh, APU power auxiliary units and sleeper units for this front half where I've got the Fanatec logo. Like it's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. He did a really good job with it. So. Um, but I'll, I'll try to um, I'll try to dig this one up for tomorrow. I'll give you guys a pull on this. Actually, you know what? I can do it right. Well, I'll do it tomorrow because um, it's actually in my Discord. Um, so I will uh, I will dig this up for you guys tomorrow, and we roll tomorrow. I will. Um, yes, it is. Okay, sweet. So I'll have it for you guys tomorrow uh, if that works for y'all. And that way, uh, we'll give you this, and I'll tell you where you can get Freightliner, I mean, the John Ruder stuff. And if you want to pull the skin around, if you want to share the skin out, I mean, it don't matter to me. Uh, it's not uh, private to me. Um, it's freely downloadable for anybody that wants to roll it and wants to run it, rep, rep me uh, as well. And if you don't throw it in Facebook pages, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, so we'll leave out of Orlando, and then we'll head on up towards, uh, I think we're going to be heading up towards Vegas. Um, so that'll be a, a long ride, uh, but uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. We'll be in a we'll be in a sweet truck anyway. So uh, I got quite a few guys here to thank for tonight, man. Uh, so thanks uh, first off to all our new members, man. We had actually a little four or five members came in, sub. So we're what what one thirty nine there, two hundred on our uh, sponsor goal. I need to I need to make that a little bit bigger. It's really I can barely read it small. Anyway, so we got about almost 140 there, 200. So thank you guys for uh, for remembering up and uh, and coming in like a champ this morning. Or I'm sorry, not this morning, early stream. Uh, appreciate it uh, as always. Kathy Wells, thank you there for your two members, uh, and uh, thank you there for uh, Courage Jen came in as well. Simple uh, Skippy reason also became a member there. Edible, ah, I forgot to thank you for your dollar, man. Thanks there. I forgot that, man. Uh, I guess it dinged through, and I didn't realize that was the. Um, that was your donation for that edible. So thank you there, edible, for your debut. Appreciate it. Christopher Dilver as well, uh, becoming a member there. It's $5 there for Mr. Kurajin. Uh, B. Griff with $10. Kyle with a $39.76. <laughs> that was a USD uh, transfer rate there on the uh, the Canadian Super Chats. Appreciate it, man. Uh, very much, Kyle. Big homie there with the big one there of the night, man. Uh, $100 uh, donation tonight as well for Big Homie. Appreciate it, man. Captain Chaos with a 50 and Brian King with a 10. Safety by choice. Closing things down tonight with a 5. Thank you guys very much. I uh, very much appreciate that. Um, and someone that said, oh, Christian, do I do I make my – I make nothing, man. All I do is I skin stuff. So all of the skins that you see, United Logistics, the racing skins, 
Um, I've got a couple of custom ones for the, uh, hey, there's Appalachian Drone Fights, man. He's, he's closing us down with a big fat 20. Appreciate it, man. Thank you there for the stream. Good, sir. You're absolutely welcome there, Appalachian, Appalachian Drone Flights. Appreciate it. Uh, as always, man, thank you guys for coming out and uh, and watching us. Uh, <laughs> you can barely talk to me, man. Uh, appreciate it, man. I, I, I didn't mean to skip you there earlier, so. Uh, and I totally forgot what I was going to say there because Appalachian Drone Fights messed me up. Uh, mm, oh, I hear you, Bear Pig, homie. Well, I, oh, yeah. So I just do the skins. Um, skins for trucks, uh, skins for trailers. I do the, the FTR stuff. I did all these um, uh, and did all the logos and stuff for the racing. Uh, but uh, everything else, man, is created by someone else. I don't have any time for, like, legit modding. I don't realize how much time goes into all that stuff. Time that I just don't have. So... Uh, I wish I did because I think I would be good at it, but I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, but, yeah, time is just uh, of the essence, and it can't be on that. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, thank you there, Anderson. Appreciate it, man. He's like, no, nah, I believe I'll shut the door on tonight's stream there, buddy. Appreciate the two-buck tip there, man. Uh, Mr. Anderson Logistics, uh, as always, man. Thank you guys uh, very much. So, yeah, thank you, man, big homie. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Dave Dub, absolutely. Hope you guys enjoy some of these things. If you got questions on skinning any of those mods that you guys saw uh, us, uh, you know, uh, pull out tonight, man, feel free to rever review back to that video uh, with the skinning tutorial for his mods. And the same applies for all of his mods. So if you've got like the sign mod that goes with like Grand Junction or Denver mod or uh, Arizona, the one in Flagstaff, the same principles apply to all of his mods. Um, and he tells you exactly which file it is that you have to mimic. Uh, that you have to replace the templates on, and you're good to go. Zip it back up exactly how I told you uh, in that video, and you're literally ready to run off the race. So um, so you guys have a great one, man. Uh, yeah, Fred, it'll be good, man. Uh, what's the highest donation? So the highest donation that I ever received was 1000 That was the highest one. Thank you there, Edible. I won't forget you this time, man. Thank you there for your dollar, man. Closing it out like a champ, man. Appreciate it, Edible. He's like, I got forgotten, but I won't forget forgetting this time. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Uh, you guys are uh, y'all are awesome, man. So, uh, absolutely, Glen Gaming. You guys take it easy as well. Gabriel as well. Uh, race, y'all are awesome, man. How do you sponsor? So just ding bat if you want to. You can either do it now or later. There should be a join button right beside you. Um, and that join button down there is what you actually, or I've got a link uh, to membership there in the description. And both of those should take you to the place where you can do that from. Um, so e either way. And by the way, guys, I'm trying to work on, uh, nobody really threw any commands tonight, but I am trying to throw those as well for mod. Um, I've got also some other ones there. If you just type in exclamation commands at some point. Uh, you can throw them up there at any time. I'm trying to add some things to that if you guys want to see some things um, that we do have in there. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, Gabriel, absolutely, man. I'll be around tomorrow. GBK as well, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys, uh, as well. Big homie as always, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, and then uh, and then I will hopefully uh, see you guys as long as everything rolls out. We'll be rolling tomorrow out of Orlando. 389 action with FTR NASCAR hauler. Uh, bound for Vegas. So we we'll get to see a lot of coast to coast tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We will be rolling uh, in probably a lot of your favorite engines tomorrow. So that will probably be of, of interest to some of you. So uh, at any rate, you guys take it easy. And I will see you here hopefully tomorrow night, everybody. We will see you. Peace to the out. Till tomorrow. We'll see you guys. And, by the way, coming up really soon, uh, probably at the end of this week, I've got a huge, and I mean an absolutely huge announcement um, to make. And um, and so, anyway, I will, um, I, I will make that announcement at the end of this week. So, you guys, take it easy. And I will see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Okay. We're leaving now.